The next topic we're going to be talking about is primary sclerosis cholangitis. Now, this is different from primary biliary cirrhosis. In this case, you've got a destruction of the intrahepatic or the extrahepatic bowel walls. Now, the problem is we don't know what causes this. It's a chronic condition. We really don't understand why these people are getting these strictures, right? So let's try to draw it out. If you look at this gallbladder here, I mean the liver here, I'm just gonna try to draw it out here again. Now it's the intrahepatic, but not just that. What it do develop is this This is what it looks like. This is what their gallbladder looks like. I'm sorry, the biliary tree, the common bile duct, they get all the strictures. Now, this is idiopathic. We don't know what causes it, but we do know what it's associated with. It's associated with what? Ulcerative colitis. Patients with primary sclerosis and cholangitis, most of them are actually ulcerative colitis patients. 70% of patients with um, primary sclerosis and cholangitis, uh, I mean, patients with uh, ulcerative colitis, definitely we end up developing uh, this disease. It's not like this ulcerative colitis causes it, this is just an association that we've kind of noticed in clinical medicine. However, on clinical symptoms, this is very just long-term disease. It takes a while before these patients start to come in, they look yellow. The skin is yellow. They start to itch, pruritus. Why? Because all the, all the bilirubin cannot, and all the bile acids can't get through to be filtered into the gallbladder. Start to spill into the skin, start to spill into their blood, Started to get really itchy. So that's one of the most common complaints. They're tired, they're fatigued. They start to talk about they're losing weight because this is a chronic condition. How do we diagnose it? We do another ERCP, right? That's the only way we can diagnose it with something we call PTC. ERCP, like I told you, we took a scope, we go down this throat, we go all the way from your stomach all the way through the duodenum, we make a U-turn, we look in there, we see this. We call it beads on a string. That's exactly what it is, because it's sclerosis and cholangitis. This, all this, the common bile duct, it's strictures. It's like basically my chain right here. Why are these beads got beads on it, right? Because it's all these little strictures being formed and forming little pockets, really bad. If we order labs, what do you think we're going to see? A cholestatic LFTs. You're going to see your alkaline phosphate is going to go up. Your GGT is going to go up. Your ALP, ALT is going to go up because it's both intrahepatic and extrahepatic. Now, the only diagnostic study that was going to give us the answer is ERCP or PTC, which is percutaneous trans cholangiography. Uh, so that we can also put a needle, try to, you know, to put some dye in there to see if that even helps. But no, we're not going to be able to see any of the treatment. There's no cure. It's very sad. You're going to have to go on the liver transplant list. The only thing we can do is just treat the symptoms. Remember when patients are itching a lot, we give them cholestyramine and just kind of calm down the itchiness. ERCP, we can put as a stent inside here, right? And what we can do is, <clears throat> we put a stent, wire, gauze here inside the common bottle so to kind of open it and allow them to drain out. But there's really not much we can do aside from that's the best we've got. ERCP with stenting, however, they would probably need a liver transplant. All right, so that's primary sclerosing cholangitis.